All right, guys, M Tech Guy here. Now then, the wife's not about, so you know what that means. Yes, that's right, we're pulling car parts apart on the dining table today. So if you've been following the channel, you'll have seen one of my recent videos where I replaced a throttle actuator on the E60 M5. Now, this one in front of us today, this is the one that I removed from the car. Now then, I have no idea what this one looks like inside. It was functioning fine prior to me removing it. The reason I replaced it is because these do go bad over time, which I described in the previous video. I'll leave a link to it at the top of the screen now if you want to go check that out. Now the other throttle actuator had been replaced not long before I bought the M5, so I decided to get in front with this and get this one replaced now, so it's more or less the same age and mileage as the other one on the car. So this original one that I removed from the car is 17 years old. It has approximately 125,000 kilometers on it, which is about 77,000 miles. So what am I expecting to find when we pull this apart today? Maybe some plastic gear wear? I don't know, let's find out. So to be able to open this up today, we're gonna need a T20 Torx bit and a pocket screwdriver. Now I'm not using a impact driver on these Torx screws today. We're not going to be lazy, we'll just use the Torx bit on the end of the screwdriver here. So in an effort not to bore you guys to death, I'll speed up the footage a bit now. all the screws out so let's separate the lid from the can of worms just sneak our pocket screwdriver in there and gently pry it open it shouldn't take too much effort there we go so taking a look at the board all the years that have gone by and all the heat that it's been exposed to over them years doesn't look in bad shape I'm quite happy with that now then you take a look in there I don't know if you guys can make that out but there's quite a bit of gear wear there Like worn plastic. Let me slide this one off. Now then, if you take a closer look at them teeth there, you can see there's all the worn grindings from the, the plastic teeth there, and there's definitely some excessive wear on the teeth there there's hardly anything left of them actually I've probably just caught this just in time look at that one side of it's just about completely gone take a closer look just them ones there you can even see the worn gear grindings in this gear here inside the teeth from the black gear so although overall the whole throttle actuator doesn't look in bad shape the plastic gear this one is certainly deteriorated so it's definitely ready for a rebuild so I'm not going to look at rebuilding it today obviously but certainly wants a good clean out get rid of all these plastic grindings Certainly gonna, not going to help things getting through all the mechanism there. But overall, it looks in really good shape. The board looks really good. But that plastic gear, 100%, that one's replacing. So I'm certainly glad I removed it from the car and got it replaced. Now my plan is to get this one rebuilt. Let's put some new plastic gears in there. And then what I'll do is I'll just set this aside. And this can be a spare, it'll just be a backup. And I've got them two fairly new ones on the car now that are very similar in age. And I've always got a spare whether I want to carry out some fault finding later on or in a few years time if one of them starts to fail I've got a sort of rotatable spare I can chuck this one on the car and then take the one that comes off the car I can rebuild that and always have one ready to go on the shelf 
that's the plan. Now, if you guys would like me to make a video on rebuilding this throttle actuator whenever I get round to it, please leave a comment below. That's something we can certainly look at doing in the future. And as always, if you found the video interesting or useful, don't forget to give it a like and make sure you go and check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more BMW DIY content. I'm M Tech Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.